Well, we usually get the results back about two weeks after we order it. So it's ideal if we could talk about it in person and I could show them the report that we get, which is a very nice report for the patient. However, I don't always have that luxury. So I've tried to give them information even before they get their own report back as to how it could be broken out and what their results, how their results will be reported. Uh, it comes as a low risk, an intermediate risk, or a high risk. And if they're low risk, we can talk about the fact that they're really not in a category of patients that have been shown to benefit from chemotherapy. So I think that's a, a very beneficial outcome for those patients. Similarly, the very high risk patients, we can say, you will benefit from chemotherapy. There's no question that chemotherapy should at least be considered as part of your treatment regimen. The intermediate risk patients become a little bit more difficult because that's a, a more of a gray zone. And that's where we have to take into account all the characteristics of that patient and her tumor and make recommendations based on what her personal goals are and personal preferences are about her treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.